Hey, Captain C.A. Richardson here of Flats Class YouTube. Today I'm going to teach you a little pendulum pitch cast that's going to make your short game a lot more accurate. So like I said inside, the toughest cast that you have to make is the one that's inside your comfort zone. Something that's inside your full swing. And the way to beat that is with a little pendulum cast. So I want to teach you how to do this little pendulum pitch cast. And I think it's going to help you in a lot of close quarter situations to catch fish. Now we're going to use the swimming pool here at Cajun Fishing Adventures to do this demo. Now I have a six foot 10 medium heavy action rod. This throws about a quarter to three quarter ounce jig. When I'm doing this pendulum pitch cast, I'm not trying to be as slick as David Walker on the Bass Elites or Brian Latimer on the FLW Tour, I'm talking, we're just trying to catch redfish. Redfish, they're, they're not that tough to catch. But this is how you do this little cast. You, you bring your jig back down to about where the reel is. And when you have a fish that appears very close out of nowhere, out of a cloud, out of a drain, you're able to just slide it out and drop it right on the fish. You can't do that with an, with an overhand cast or a slick underhand cast. The best way to do it is just reach out and pitch it and put it right there where, you, where he is. If you need to make something a little further, you just reach a little farther. You just reach out a little farther. That's all you do. You have this back here, you gently load the rod and you're reaching and letting the reel spin. So I'm just going to reach, let the reel spin. That's all you do. If you need to make something a little farther, you just reach a little farther. That's all you do. And you, the bait travels so low over the water, I mean very low, and it lands softly because you're gently putting it down in the water and engaging the reel right away. This is the best way to fish marshy zones, even fish docks at times, is just gently pitch it. Now you have a situation where you have to pitch a little further. It's still the best way to cheat the wind and still make an accurate cast and land the bait safe. So I can just Gently put it out there. That's a 20 foot cast. I can make even a 30 foot cast. It's not that hard when you have a live rod. You just pitch it a little further. And this is a, a lure, you know, whether you're throwing a chatter bait or if you're throwing a, a swim jig, it's something that travels low over the water and you can stop it right where the fish is every time. And what you're doing is you're not trying to hit the fish. You're trying to hit a zone in front of the fish where you can place it gently and it's his idea to attack it. You don't want to hit the fish. Some of you guys have great hand-eye coordination and you're looking right at the fish and you'll hit the fish. Pick a spot with your eyesight that's just ahead of the fish, maybe two or three feet, and then you can lay it right in front of them. And it, it's so easy to do with just a little practice. Uh, we just did a Captain CA fly on the video with my son and he practiced this stuff last year and got very proficient at it and it turned out to be a great video and this is how he fished all day long. But whether you're throwing really short just by reaching or if you're trying to really reach out and throw a little bit farther, it's not hard. So, so the key is is to have a medium action rod that just bends in the last maybe 15-20% of the rod. So it's a, it's a good stick. Keep your jig close to your reel. That's where you want it. You want it right here so that you can just reach out and drop the bait where you need it. It's really that simple. I use a little heavier braid when I'm doing this style of fishing and I do that so that I minimize backlashes and you have a lot more line control. So. Today I'm using 50 pound braid. In many cases I'm using 65, even 80 pound braid because most of your pitches are gonna be inside a 25, 30 feet max. Most of them are actually gonna be 12 to 15 feet away. But you totally take the wind out of play doing this and you can gently put the bait right in front of them instead of trying to make a slick overhand cast or a sidearm cast that's gonna spook the fish. I hope this little tip puts more fish in your boat. Captain C.A. Richardson, signing out of another great YouTube video.